Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. How about you? I'm good, thank you. So how was your day today? It was wonderful, thank you. How was yours? Um, yes, it was pretty nice. I went to school. So, yeah, and today, yes, there was a celebration in our school for, you know, it's Bengali New Year, uh, means where I live. Actually, I live in India, but mm -hmm. I'm from the state of West Bengal. So here we have another calendar. So actually tomorrow is, Beng not tomorrow, I think, the day after tomorrow is Bengali New Year. So we just had a celebration and I had to do the anchoring part. So, yes, I was pretty nervous and excited. <laughs> Of course, but it sounds like you'll do it. Okay, so just quickly, just before we carry on, my name is Ivana and your name is? I'm Adrija. Adrija, nice to meet you. Yes. Okay. So tell me, what grade are you in school? I'm in ninth, ninth standard. Okay, and what is your favorite subject at the moment? At the moment, it's biology. Biology? Hmm. Okay, what about biology is so interesting? Um, I just, you know, love to learn about life, anything about life, like how do we live? Like how does everything work inside of us? So that just interests me a lot. Every, yeah. Everything about it, you know, anatomy, physiology, whatever is there. So it just interests me a lot. I can see you seem very passionate about it. Yes, I am. Amazing, amazing. Okay, so tell me your reasons for learning English. Um, I'm here in Clappingo just to, you know, talk and converse and, you know, to meet people from different parts of the world and learning about their cultures. So, yes, that is why I'm here. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so is there anything specific you'd like to speak about today? Um, we can have a general conversation if you like. No, of course, anything. Um, so tell where me, do you live? where do I live? Hmm? I live in Croatia. Oh, okay. You know where um, that is? Yes, I know. I, I have heard about it actually from football, oh. you know, in football <laughs> World Cup. I have heard about it and um, I don't really know much about Croatia, but yes, I know it's in Europe and it is a beautiful country. Good. Okay. So you into football? Not really, but I do watch World Cup, whatever okay. it is. Wonderful. Okay. So just a little bit about Croatia. It's a very small country. I'm sure you've seen. It is on the beautiful Adriatic Sea. So it's by the coast. It is, they have about 4 million people. So it's very small and mm. it's a beautiful country. Yeah. I see. Um, yes, I have. I think I've seen a video about Croatia and I've seen how much beautiful it is. Like, uh, I don't really know any city's name, but yes, it is a really beautiful country. Yes, very beautiful. Hmm. And tell me a little bit about where you're from. Like, what is the city like? Is it a town? Is it a city? Um, as I told is you, it... I'm from India. And yes, yes and I'm from the eastern part of India. It is known as the state uh, name is West Bengal. And I come from a small town of West Bengal. It is known as Raigand. So like, if I have to talk about India, then I just can't. Actually, it's so diverse. Everything, the culture, and you know, everything is just so great. Like, it's amazing. And the what? scenic beauty here, like from mountains to seas, you know, whatever you like, you can come here. Like, it's the best travel destination. Wonderful. I love how you speak about your country. Okay, so can you suggest some things I do, some places I can see, some food I can eat? What can you suggest? Sure. Um, according to me, if you are a mountain person, then I'd suggest you to go to Jammu and Kashmir. It is one of the real, it is very beautiful. And you know, you know the Himalayas, you know Mount Everest? Mm -hmm. It is in the Himalayas. So Mount Everest is actually in Nepal, but it is in the Himalayas and the Himalayas have extended up to Jammu and Kashmir. So, you know, it's really breathtaking. And if yes. you are a sea, uh, beach person, like you love to go to beaches, then I suggest Goa probably because Goa is 
a really you know chill type of place where you can just go and chill and you know everything in your mind will just you know you don't need to worry about anything and it's a really beautiful place and the food yes there are absolutely the food is actually very diverse like whatever you will find in north india it's totally different from south so it's really different but i i personally like south indian food you know there are dosa idli so these food are really amazing and what i eat is actually rice and with some curry fish fish is a really popular food in west bengal so yes these are so, something you can try wonderful thank you for sharing all of that so what would you say is your favorite meal traditional meal mm. um i actually love paneer it is uh, i don't know it comes from milk have you heard of paneer mm -mm. no i i thought about cuz it's actually a indian dish but okay. paneer anything paneer is just really good so anything paneer i especially love shahi paneer it is a type of dish made with paneer but i don't i just don't care anything paneer is really the best <laughs> okay that's good it sounds delicious and mm -hmm. what about desserts are you guys good at desserts uh do you like eating sweet things I, um west bengal is really famous for sweets you know cuz over here every people love to eat sweets so a very famous sweet over here is rasgulla uh if you ever come here you should try it and i'm sure you will love it i actually love it a lot rasgulla it is a sweet dish and i'm not that much of a sweet person but still you know sometimes i do eat it and it's really good <laughs> great stuff that's amazing okay no i'm very very interested in india i think it's a beautiful country i think it's like incredibly diverse like what you said um i think it's quite broad there's so many things to see so many things to do um so hopefully one day i can pay a visit to your beautiful country yes i'm sure you're welcome to our country anytime thank you very so much so have you ever went abroad like out of croatia Yes, I have. I was actually born in another country. I was born in South Africa. Oh. So it's quite different. I'm sure you've heard of cricket from your country and our country. Mm. They play yes. cricket together. <laughs> mm. um, it's quite a big sport, I believe, in India as well. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I was born in South Africa. I'm now in Croatia. I have been to a few other countries, but nothing crazy. Oh, okay. So would you love to travel to some place like what is on your bucket list? Oh my gosh. Basically if you ask me my bucket list that would be the whole world. Um <laughs> I would love to love to explore every type of place. Um everywhere really. So I would probably start with more of Europe which is because it's just closer to me and then hopefully again India, Saudi Arabia, um Vietnam, China. uh places like that maybe one day australia uh and then the us is maybe later on in 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 my bucket list or on my bucket list and south america definitely uh it's like the whole world only <laughs> i literally told you it's the whole world but do you have a bucket list of places or do you like to even travel i know you're young but would you like to Um I have actually traveled to a lot of places abroad like I have been to 10 countries in Europe and mm -hmm. then to um yeah some places in Asia like Thailand then Singapore Dubai and China but yes there are some on my bucket list that I'd love to travel one is South Africa that you said like I'm mm -hmm. too excited to visit Cape Town one day <laughs> yes I yes you have to yes I actually loved uh, the city like when I saw it on videos and I I knew that I have to go there one day. One and then two is Australia. Mm -hmm. You know, there are so many beautiful beaches and cities as well and so I'd love to go there. New Zealand as well, you know, if I take that too. And mm -hmm. yes, South America because there are some really beautiful places in South America. And so yes, these are some on my bucket list. Definitely. Well, I will definitely vouch for South Africa. I think you'd have a lovely holiday. I think there is so much to do in south africa you've got the mountains you've got the sea you've got the the bush which we call you know the inland where you can go and see the animals like lions giraffes 
elephants right close, uh, right up close. So it's really you get everything in South Africa. I think the people are lovely. The food is delicious. You will have a lovely time in Cape Town. Um, very expensive, but it's a beautiful city. And um, I love South Africa. Yeah. So what is the best dish that you ever had in South Africa? Like the best Ooh, in meal? South Africa? Uh, Dish-wise, I don't know. I really like their dried meat. So we call it biltong. Um, it comes in a various in various ways. You can get spicy, non-spicy, different types of meat. So ostrich, beef, all the lot. Um, I prefer beef plain. I'm not a huge uh, spice girl. Um, but we've got that. We've also got different types of meat. It's a very meaty country. We like to eat meat. We um, do a lot of, uh, we braai. So a braai in South African is an, a barbecue in American yeah. terms. Um, so that's also very delicious and very popular in South Africa. Oh, I have never heard of them, but sure, I try. You have? Barbec barbecue, you like, like um, I have, um, I've not really ate a lot of barbecue food, I have to say, but still, you know, it, it's really delicious. Definitely. And uh, I don't know your food preference, but the meat in South Africa is really good. And a lot of the time we'll make on the side like potato bake or salads or all these different types of things. It's, it's delicious. A braai in South Africa is very, very good. And um, I think South Africans are very good at making braais. <laughs> I sure try it. Yes, of course. Um, yeah, so South Africa should be on your bucket list. What about something crazy? Like, do you have any adrenaline junkie things that you would like to try? Like maybe jumping out of a plane, skydiving or bungee jumping, anything like that? Um, I, have, I really want to try paragliding once because hmm. I need to see what, what is so amazing about it. I have to see one time at least. You know, I have really not right now, of course, when I grow older. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try it one time. And uh, unfortunately, I don't know how to swim. So if I, I'm going to learn swimming, of course. And then I'm going to do scuba diving. I yes. have to. Oh, okay. That's quite brave. That's a, that's a big one. But scuba diving is beautiful. So um, hopefully when you learn to swim, you can definitely do that. Mm. Have you ever and tried scuba diving? You know what? I, I'm very close to it because I, I live in Croatia and this is the best place to scuba dive. But I have problems with my ears. I had when I was a baby, I had grommets and stuff like that. So my ears are quite painful if I go deeper than like a meter. Um, so I can, I can <laughs> snorkel on the top. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's as far as I'll go. I'll just stay on top and like look down into the sea. I see. So it's, it's actually pretty close to scuba diving. <laughs> yeah, yes. I guess. Very, just you don't go too deep down. Mm -hmm. But um, okay. So what else can you tell me? What do you like to do with your friends when you're free from school? Uh, when I'm free from school, I just love to read books yeah. and you know, you know, music. Maybe listen to music a little bit. And um, yes, talk with my because I actually talk a lot with my friends at school. So mm -hmm. it doesn't really happen when I come at home. So yes. at home, I just usually spend time with myself and my family, my parents. So I, of course, I have to study because my board exams, like class 10th exams are coming soon. So yes, I have to study a lot. But um, yes, in free time, I mostly read novels and listen to music. Wonderful. What type of novels? Um, fantasy and fiction. I really, I mostly read fictional novels. Mystery is also one of my favorite genre. Wonderful. Um, I, I think we are out of time. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, it was very nice to meet you. I love how passionate you are about everything. And um, thank you for joining me today. Very nice to meet you. It was so nice to meet you too. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Bye. Thank you. Bye.